be doing a review of All the Beautiful Lies by Peter Swanson. Uh, this is a mystery thriller, adult mystery thriller. It just came out in April. Um, this might be his fifth book, I believe. I'm not really sure. It's the third one I've read by him and definitely my favorite. I just right off the bat, I'm going to say that I love this book. I gave it a five out of five stars. I have no complaints about it. I just finished it yesterday, so maybe if I sat on it a little longer, I might lower the rating, but I really don't think so. Um, some of this was a tad predictable, but there were still a lot of twists and turns, and it has really nice short chapters, so you're just wanting to like one more chapter, one more chapter, read through and get to the next point of view and get to the next part. You just really wanted to figure out what was going on with these characters and the whodunit, and just, it was, it was a very fun read. But All the Beautiful Lies, we start off by following Harry, who is about to graduate from college when he gets a call from his stepmother, Alice, letting him know that his father passed away unexpectedly. Uh, his father was out on a walk, a walk that he takes all the time, it, you know, like a path or a trail that he goes to every day almost, and it's not out of the norm for him to go and do that, but he fell and was killed. So Harry skips his college graduation and he goes home and he is kind of dealing with like, how could this happen to my dad? You know, he was, he wasn't unhealthy. He took this rock every day. Like, how could he fall? Like, he knows this trail. But then things, weird things start happening. So he, you know, Alice is not acting right. A strange woman shows up at his father's funeral and he wants to know her connection to his father. And eventually, you know, you kind of start like, suspecting you know people and the cops decide you know that they find there's a something that they find out and they decide that this isn't going to be considered a suspicious death not you know accidental so they're looking into that and Harry kind of goes on his own little search to find the answers of what happened to his father and over the course of the novel he's finding out secrets that his father kept from him well I wouldn't necessarily say secrets that his father kept from him it was things that you wouldn't share with your children anyways. So um, it, it, he just is kind of dealing with learning about his father as uh, like he's not who he thought he was kind of way or maybe just viewing him more as not a father but as another man himself. And um, I don't know if that makes sense but like your parents are people too but you grow up and all of a sudden you're like oh shit. My parents aren't just parents, like they, they're people too and they live their own life and their own, they've done their own thing. But, um, so we're following Harry and then we also get Alice's point of view. Now she is 13 years younger than Harry's father and 13 years older than Harry. So she's right smack dab in the middle and she is a young wife to Harry's father. And Harry kind of, when he was a teenager, had some conflicting sexual thoughts about Alice and she's... It's just right there in the middle where she's not like old like his dad would be to him and um, she starts acting weird to Harry uh, it's it's like almost like oh is she not upset enough or why is she acting this way maybe it's the way she handles grief blah 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 but we do see this story from her point of view as well and it jumps from past to present so we see her when she's a young teenager for a few years growing up throughout her teenage years and then we see her in the present day as well. Um, and then there are additional characters that later on in the book they start to get their own point of view but I won't say who that is because I I feel like it could potentially be a spoiler. Um, so it, it sounds like there's a ton packed into this book. It's less than 300 pages and there is a lot in here but it's done very well. Not once did I feel like I was missing information that I needed or that it was, it didn't feel sloppy. It didn't feel like he was just like info dumping a bunch of stuff, but it, it was very well done and the chapters are nice and short. So you're like in a hurry to get to the next point of view or the next chapter to see like where the story's headed or you know, you're getting people's past and present. So you're trying to connect all the dots and I, this, some of it is a little bit predictable but then again some of it isn't and I think this is the best work that I've read by him I haven't read all of them I've only read three of his books including this one um, but I think it's best I don't want to say much else because I I mean other than what's in the jacket is that's basically what what is in the jacket is everything I just said I don't want to 
uh, ruin it for anyone or uh, I think it's best going into mystery books knowing as little as possible. But if you're looking for a very good mystery thriller, I would definitely recommend Peter Swanson. Um, this book, All the Beautiful Lies and The Kind Worth Killing were both very well done. Um, I I was really excited for this book to come out and I was not at all disappointed. I read it in two settings, sittings. I read it in two sittings. Uh, it was, it, it's an easy, smooth read. I really enjoy his writing too. I don't know what it is, but it, it was, it was very well done. A lot of fun. And if you're into mystery thrillers, um, I would definitely, definitely say pick up Peter Swanson, especially this one. Let me know if you are going to pick up Peter Swanson or if you've read All the Beautiful Eyes or plan on it or any of his other work. We can chat down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next video.